Okay, good afternoon everyone. 1971 Cadillac DeVille, turbo 400 transmission, changing out the kick down solenoid, which was bolted right there. And there's the port where the solenoid activates, or works on, rather, to uh, do the shift. And the, uh, the wires come into the side of the transmission. Anyway, my kick down is not working on the passing gear. And I have troubleshot the kick down switch on the carburetor. On this car, it's on the carburetor, not on the accelerator pedal underneath the dash, thankfully. It's easy to get while it's on the carburetor. And all the electrical wiring seems to be intact and working, and the switch on the carb seems to work. But the kick down solenoid doesn't seem to work properly. <clears throat> so I ordered a new one because that seems to be the thing to do. And I just thought I would share with you how uh, it's a bit fascinating. Here's the old part. It's pretty obvious this is the original part from 71. Uh, you can see the windings here. Uh, and you can see how the winding attracts this small lever, which activates that little plunger right there. Okay, and that's, I guess that's with your foot to the floor that opens mm -hmm. and allows you to shift out. Anyway, with the new one, it's quite a bit different. The design is much more compact and uh, it threw me for a loop when I pulled it out of the box. I'm like, oh crap, I got the wrong part. But from what I read on the forums, it seems to be correct. The old part has this little disc with a small hole in it that goes over that. And it also had a metal shim which doesn't go. Based on the form that I read, you don't put the shim back in. And the old one was encased in this in this little uh, canister, which you, you pulled it out of there. Anyway, pardon my shaky camera. Anyway, so that is an old kick-down solenoid for a Turbo 400, and this is the new one. So we're going to put this one in here just shortly. Anyway, that's the difference. Have a good one.